What's up, guys? So the Kurds are foreign invaders from Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Turkmenistan. That's what the Kurds are, man. That's what they are. And want to know how we know? So this haplogroup, R2 or RM479, is common among Kurds. There is a athlete a boxer who trains at the gym where I train at uh, and his paternal lineage is Kurdish and he is RM479, right? That's his paternal haplogroup, right? Where does RM479 originate? Northern Pakistan, right? That's where it originates, man, okay? RM479, he's strong, man. Like, this guy benches 275 for a double, right? He is a strong dude. I want to say he's a he's a middleweight or a light heavyweight, right? Um, but he's he trains at my gym, and right, and it would make sense that again, he, his paternal his paternal lineage is Kurdish, and his paternal haplogroup is RM479, so there's obviously some admixture from South Asia and Central Asia, um, Northern Pakistan, Southern Tajikistan, and Afghanistan in his lineage. Um, so he's obviously of Central Asian and South Asian descent via his paternal lineage. And then here's, here's, a, here's some more facts that confirm that Kurds are not indigenous. They are foreign invaders in Iraq and Syria, right? The Kurds are foreign invaders in Iraq and Syria, right? So you quick Google search. What haplogroup do Kurds have? The results of the study are in agreement with previous results that the most common haplogroup in the Kurdish population are J and R. Previous studies concluded that J, haplogroup J, is a common male lineage in West Asia. Okay. Check it out. Here's the study. The results of the present study are in agreement with the previous results that the most common haplogroups in the Kurdish, male, Kurdish population are J and R. Previous studies concluded that the haplogroup J is a common male lineage in West Asia. Right? Again. So, given that haplogroup R, which originated in Tajikistan, Pakistan, and Afghanistan... In northern Pakistan, southern Afghanistan, and in Tajikistan, right? Haplogroup R originated in Central Asia, dude. South Central Asia, northern Pakistan, southern Afghanistan, southern Tajikistan. And given the fact that the Kurds have haplogroup R shows you that they're foreign invaders, man. They're settlers in West Asia. They are fake West Asians, man. Right? The Kurds are fake West Asians. Right? They're foreign invaders. So, there you go. It seems as if the Iranians and the Kurds and the Zionist squatters, they all have the same agenda, right? And we all know they're foreign invaders. And science has all proved that, right? But they continue to gaslight us, right? So again, Kurds are foreign invaders in West Asia and Iraq and Syria, right? Kurds are, their ancestors originated in Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan. So there you go.